Okay guys, this is the tutorial on how to plug in the components to your Arduino board. I'm going to point out a few things before I get started. One thing that's important and useful is this little button up at the top. And the button is actually facing out to the side. And this is the reset button. This basically just says computer stop talking to me and let's start talking again after I push this so anything that's happening any communication that's going on between the board and the computer momentarily interrupts and gets started over when you press that button over here is the main power coming into the Arduino board important to note actually I'm going to just push this aside for a second you can see minus and plus also, it's harder to see here because the screw is blocking it, but you see the minus and the plus. So that's the uh, negative and positive, negative and positive coming into the board. These are the fuses. If these get hot, they turn off. That's how the fuse works. That's why we've spread them apart so that they don't have two times the amount of heat next to each other. Okay, now let me show you each. We have four Pololu boards. These control the motors and what the motors do. This is the X. You can see the letter X here. It's upside down. The Y and the Z. The Z has two inputs where you put the motors. And this is the one extruder input that we have. It is E0. That's where we plug in the extruder motor. Right next to that is the E1. It's missing the Pololuo board, and we do have those available if anybody ever wanted to purchase one and plug in another extruder. That's definitely an option. Over here is where the thermistors get plugged in. You can see the little letters upside down. T0, T1, and T2. We use T0 for the extruder, or the hot end. T1 is the thermistor for the board, or the heat bed. T2 you could use if you had a second extruder. And then the last thing, actually not the last thing yet, but a very important thing are the end stops. Here is written upside down, end stops. Above the terminals you see, it's a little difficult to see, but you see X minus, Y minus, and Z minus. Um, basically what we're going to do is only concentrate on the bottom two pins of this terminal. This is the X, you skip one, then you have the Y, you skip one, then you have the Z. And I'll go over that again when I plug everything in. And then all the way back over to the right side we have D8, D9, D10. These are our basically our relays. The board turns power on and off to components through these relays. We have D8, which is where we plug in the heat bed. D9 is where we plug in the fan. And D10 is where we plug in the hot end. This is also where you plug in your USB cord. So I'm going to start plugging things in and um, point a few things out as I go along. First, I will start with the heat bed. Now, the heat bed being just a big resistor, doesn't matter which wire goes where. Just make sure you get the wires in there and snug. Gonna take, I like to use a flat head screwdriver. And I'm just gonna give them a tug, make sure they're in there good. Now for the fan. The fan wires are the only ones that, on this power strip here, that are actually specific to how you plug them in. You want the red wire to be positive. So the red is going to go on this upper terminal here. We got the fan plugged in, red, positive, black, negative. Now to the hot end. This doesn't matter how you do it. Just gonna grab one and put it into the positive. Happens to be the red wire. 
Okay, got that plugged in. I think I will go ahead and do the end stops now. Alright, I'm just going to grab the Z and plug it in. I know it's the Z because I marked it earlier before I took it off. This goes right there into the bottom two pins and it's right in line with that little Z if you can read that. Okay, so I've plugged in the rest of them. This is the Y and that is the X. I really want to emphasize that we don't plug it into the top pin. If anything ever gets plugged in these top pins, your board just will not work. It'll work after you unplug something, but if you ever notice your board not working, you might want to check that stuff isn't plugged into these pins. Okay, moving on to the thermistors. This is the heat bed thermistor. It's plugged into the middle there, called T1. And then I've got the hot end thermistor. That gets plugged in right next to it. And it doesn't matter which way you plug these in. Same thing with the end stops, does not matter which way you plug them in. And that's all there is to it. Alright, now I'm going to plug the Z motors in. When plugging in the motors, there's a order you have to do it. And we can just tell which way is the right way by looking at the colors. Blue should be towards the outside of, of the Arduino. I guess that's the left side of the board if you're looking at it from this direction. So you've got the blue wires to the left. And you want to make sure you get all four pins on there. Okay, now the Y, the only one that's the curveball, has to be different. The Y, we put the black wires to the left. Don't ask me why. And then our last, well, not quite our last, the X motor coming in with the blue wires to the left. And the extruder right down here at E0, blue wires to the left. And that's it. You've plugged in your Arduino.